Hey my internet friends, in this video I'm gonna show you how to delete your database, how you can delete database from your cPanel. It's very easy and simple. First log in your cPanel, I want to log in my cPanel and as you can see here, I already create 37 is uh, like MySQL database so I just I want to delete all database all user and all database so how we can delete that thing so if you uh, okay so I cannot delete I think I cannot uh, delete all database user in one click I think so I need to delete this manually I think so how we can delete so if you want to delete this just click on this delete option basically this is a user I just click on delete user and go back okay basically I want to delete all user and all database so I just open a new tab and all are open a new tab open open and when I all are open a new tab and as you can see it's now loading down click on delete 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 just delete this as you can see I just delete all of database source here again delete delete and also delete that thing so when a delete is done just close all tab now just close here the tabs close 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 okay so if I load now then you'll see now it's now clean I hope it's now clean but it's not now clean so there's uh, other databases okay okay I want to delete any kind of user just is simple just open a new tab I just open a new tab it's very simple and when it's done just click on delete user delete user again that's very simple I hope guys you you can do that I've already create uh, uh, <laughs> some uh, 37 database so that's why I just it takes some seconds uh, and I'm, I'm just deleting here all and if I load then you'll see it's now delete I hope guys you understand that thing and if you want to create any new database just simply input here the database name and if you want to create any kind of user and simply input here the name password and click on create user and when you want to add uh, the merge that thing just here the option select the user and select the database and click on add it's automatically added here okay thanks for watching this video if you understand that thing so please like on this video and if you new on my channel so please consider and subscribe